All right, what's good, y'all? This is episode five, I think, of Average's Failure. So I just wanted to chat with you all a little bit, just share my thoughts on something that um, I feel really is important, especially for millennials as we're getting older now. A lot of us are in our 30s. Um, some of y'all are in y'all 20s still, but you know this will still be helpful for you. Um, but the message for today is, is stop living the the glory days you know or or let me put it this way forget about the glory days and what i mean by that is the glory days well not say the glory days many of us have experienced in the past where maybe we were in high school or we did something excellent in our younger years um that really set us apart in some ways um where we saw uh, our, where we saw ourselves operating at level 100 um, we really saw us getting the most that we could out of maybe our body athletically um, or maybe out of our mind academically. And um, and and we fe- it was exhilarating. It felt like we were doing something worthwhile. It felt like we were on top of the world. It felt like you had something to look, live for, something to always look forward to um, maybe week after week, day after day. You know, as I think back, I, I can remember sitting in high school and always thinking about, okay, we got a track meet this week, one or two track meets this week, maybe it's county championship coming up, maybe state championship, you know, maybe national championship was coming up, maybe Milrose games, um, New Balance games, uh, the Hispanic games, um, what have you, Penn Relays, you know, all these, all these great track meets that I was privileged to run in and um, become two-time All-American myself. Um, And the challenge with that, and this is the challenge that you sometimes see in uh, old, older athletes who uh, sometimes seem like they can't step away from the game is that um, sometimes you get further along in your life and it just seems like it almost feels as if you'll never have an opportunity to do something great like that again right and 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 there's some some great things that comes out of the from your glory days right so not only that you know um in college and and my years after college I was really heavy into playing drums for a number of different gospel groups. Um, and that was exhilarating also. That was another moment where week after week I had something to look forward to. There there was going to be a, a, an audience that we would be in front of and, and it would be our job to inspire, similar to track and field. We, you know, you're talking about crowds of thousands of people sometimes filled in the stands and, and all, everybody's focus was on the track and you had to perform and it was, you had to come to life like, like it was do or die. Um, even days that you might have lost, it was still exciting being there in the moment, um, you know, and having to perform in the moment. So, uh, similar to when I speak, you know, whenever I speak or, or go somewhere and speak, it's, 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 I'm in the moment, even if it's just a sermon at church um, or whether it's a, a motivational speech in front of uh, a group of college students or maybe in front of a, um, a, a business or what have you. And there's there's this rush like yo you have to perform like like you have no choice but to perform um or when i even i'll use this one when i played basketball um and week to week i knew that okay like i have we have a basketball game coming up it was something to concentrate on it's something to get excited about something to prepare for um and the challenge is when you become an adult and when you start getting into the regular routine of your adult life Sometimes those same opportunities don't come um, the same way anymore. And you get into the humdrum, you know, life can sometimes get monotonous and you, it can start affecting you. Like you, you start losing the excitement for life and you're wondering like, what do I do now? Like, will, will I ever experience the, the, the excitement, the joy, the exhilaration um, that I used to feel? Uh, back in those days and there's some things that I just want us to keep in mind so one sometimes uh, when we do reflect back on those days we forget about we we, we tend to remember a, a portion of the glory days and we sometimes forget about the negative feelings that also came with the glory days sometimes right so sometimes feelings of anxiety came along with the with the glory days um, maybe feelings of disappointment. Maybe the the hard work that I was putting in was was un- unbalanced in in proportion to the other areas of my life that also needed addressing. 
Um, and one author um, or, or, or blog post that I read talked about, um, you know, uh, seeing the value in going through different seasons in life. Um, and that's one of my challenges to you. Why? Because, uh, first of all, let me talk about when we focus on the glory days, it can affect us in our ability to perform um, at our current jobs, you know, because we're so focused on the past that we can't concentrate or give our full attention to the task that, that we have at hand, you know, whether that be a nine to five, whether that be a business, maybe because there's not as much excitement around that. Um, it's hard for you to bring your A game each and every day. Um, whereas that's why we need to be able to forget the glory days a bit and figure out, well, what new goals can I set for myself um, in the here and now with the present opportunities in front of me so that I can uh, at least create a sense of excitement, right? Um, a, a sense of a challenge before me. Um, not only that, but, you know, understanding that it can affect our relationships also. Um, you know, you might spend so much time thinking about the glory days um, that it affects your energy through in all the other areas of your life. And so maybe the people who you have relationships with, whether it be your husband or your, your wife, whether it be uh, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, whether it be your children, um, or maybe some of like your good friends or your, your, your siblings or what have you, um, you know, you, you're you're so much searching for the the past feeling that you used to have that your energy is no longer available to the p people and the relationships that you have around you um because you're still longing for the the type of relationships that you had in the past when you used to be part of a team or when you used to be a part of a band um you know and 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 of course why do we need to be present why and why is this important because this is the kind of stuff that can affect your money right so if we're not bringing our full energy uh, to our job, our current job or the current opportunities before us, it, we might miss out on further opportunities, right? Um, or if we're just so focused on the past glory days, we might forget about the good things that are in front of us now, the great relationships that we have before us now. Maybe when we were in the glory days, maybe we were jerks. Maybe we didn't have good relationships then, right? Because we were so focused on, on other things. And maybe there's an opportunity for us to be great in the areas that we can be great in now. Maybe it's, now is the time for us to, to focus on, hmm, how maybe the glory days now is how do I set up a good relationship? How do I become an excellent husband? How do I become an excellent father? How do I become an excellent son? How do I become an excellent brother? Or how do I become an excellent role model in my community, right? Um, and, and how do I figure that out in a way that I know won't burn me out, but I'll feel like I've brought value to the table um, in my in my present context. So, 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 and, and, and watch this, if we're missing out on opportunities, that can also affect our money, right? Maybe there is the opportunity for us to increase our money, increase our influence, but we're missing it because we're so focused on the past. Um, and, and so one of the things that I would admonish us to do, I know for me, one of the things that I had to um, begin doing is saying, okay, you know what, um, I have to maybe uh, start going places and, and, and recreating new relationships, um, you know, so I can have opportunities for, for camaraderie. Maybe I need to, maybe I would have to go to the gym and start meeting people at the gym or maybe um, start going to a new church um, and meeting people who are my age at uh, a local church who I could build with, who I could develop with. Um, maybe getting back into finding a place where I could play recreational basketball or, or flag football with a team, um, you know, or, or finding a, a new band to play with. Maybe somebody um, in a new area needs a drummer <laughs> somewhere else, right? But, but, but how do I, in the present context, and, and I'm, when I say I, I'm just talking about all of us, how do we in our present context at least um, find the principles from the glory days and see how can we recreate those things in a healthy way now? Um, and so, yeah, so I just wanted to, to, to hit us with that. So, so challenge yourself. Maybe you need to set some new goals, right? Don't concentrate on the goals of the past and don't try to make your present exactly like your past. But what are some new goals that you can set now in this day and age and in this context that are still valuable, that are still worthwhile, that still allows you to have balance, all right, 
Uh, maybe it's maybe it is starting a new business with some of your friends, right? Um, something of th that's in the context of something that you feel is valuable, or maybe it's going to a local uh, food um, food or soup kitchen and volunteering, or to a homeless shelter and volunteering. Um, you know, or finding other opportunities to volunteer, or maybe uh, you can challenge yourselves to see. I don't know. Um, you know. Uh, how much impact can you have on the job or how, how can you uh, do your job in a measurable way that's better in the future, right? So I'm not, I'm not pretending to have all the, all the um, answers here, but I think part of our success um, in this life, whether it be, um, you know, no matter what aspect of life we're talking about, whether we talk about relationships, whether we're talking about our professionalism, uh, whether we're talking about just our personal conduct, we'll be forgetting the glory days, Right, Paul talks about it, for those who might know who Paul is in the Bible, um, and this is I think valuable. I'm sure if even if you're not Christian, you can find something similar within your own spiritual context. But um, Paul talks about forgetting those things that were behind me and pressing towards the thing um, that um, are before me. Right, and so don't allow the things that are behind you um, to 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 keep you from the great things that are before you, even if it might look different then, right? So, so retrain your eyes to see the greatness and what's in your present and what's in your future, even though it may not look exactly like what the glory days look like. So I think that's long enough for me, man. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that this was valuable to you. I really want to see, um, I really hope that this message has an impact for you um, and really is something that you actually need um, at this point in time. So that's it for me. This is Vaughn. Remember that average is failure. Um, and I think this is just one more piece to the puzzle in us uh, moving into a powerful life and unleashing the power that's within us um, and moving from uh, being average. So that's it for me. Average is failure. I'm out of here. Peace.